to another video here on Nasha Vlogs. Uh, today is a bit of a speculation video for four part Fright Nights, but for a couple of years down the line. So let me explain. So in 2022, it will be Fright Nights 20th anniversary. Now, I'm expecting, and I think quite a lot of other people I know, are expecting four part to do something big for their 20th anniversary. If you remember, back in, I think, 2011-2012, they did a... They did, like, a 10th anniversary thing for the part, uh, for Fright Nights, where they had, um... Like, they had this giant birthday cake and they had loads of circus performers around the park. In this video, I'm going to be speculating what I think will be happening at the 2022 Fright Nights event, which will be Fright Nights' big 20th anniversary. So, first off, let's talk about mazes. Now, what I think is going to happen for Fright Night's 20th anniversary is I think they are going to bring some mazes back from the past. How many mazes do I think they're going to have? I think they're going to have a maximum of 10 mazes. Now, this is very close to the 12 mazes which they had at Fright Night's 2018. So, I'm going to go through... What mazes I think from the past are coming back and from what year. So I think we're going to have at least one maze from each year. Maybe two mazes from each year. So let's go through each year, year from 2002 onwards. So we'll start off with 2002. So the mazes that they had in 2002 was the freezer. Was a... Sorry, was the Freezer and Freak Show 3D. And uh, a Scare Zone. Just called Scare Zone. I think, coming back from that year, I do believe they're going to bring back Freak Show 3D. Uh, do I think it's going to be in the same location as it was? Uh, when Freak Show was at the event back in 2002, it's now in what is now the Black Mirror uh, Labyrinth uh, building. So, that's out of the question. But, I think they're going to put Freak Show 3D in the I'm a Celebrity building or the Jungle Escape building. Because I can't see Jungle Escape lasting much longer. So, yeah, I think... For representing 2002, I think we will have Freak Show 3D. Now, I would say what maze would be representing in 2003. Well, technically, representing 2003 and 2004. But for 2003 and 2004, they had the same lineup, which was the Freezer and Freak Show 3D. So we're going to move straight down to what would be representing 2005. Now, I know. Honestly, a lot of people would want Asylum. Personally, I don't think they'll ever bring Asylum back. But I think representing 2005, they will bring back Hellgate. Obviously, in 2005, Fright Nights had the Asylum, Hellgate, and the Pass Walk Holders uh, Ghost Walk, which is down the Monk's Walk um, area. So, yeah, representing 2005, I think will be Hellgate. And now going on to what will be represented in 2006. So in 2006, Fright Nights was home to The Asylum, Hellgate and Seven. It represented in 2006 at the uh, 20th anniversary of Fright Nights, I think will be Seven. I would go on to ask, uh, to say what would represent 2007, but it was the same line as 2006. Going on to 2008, uh, in 2008, Fright Nights returned to the Asylum, Seven, hold on, Asylum, Hellgate, Seven, and The Curse. Representing 2008, I think, will be The Curse. Moving on to 2009, obviously they did have Sword Ride Live. Um, I don't think they're going to have any maze representing 2009. So... Moving on to 2010. So, moving on to 2010, the lineup was Asylum, Hellgate 7, The Curse, Saw Alive, and Dead End Terror Zone. I'm going to be honest, I think they will bring back Saw Alive for D2. 
this year. But I don't think it will be saw alive in the building. I think we will have an outdoor saw scare zone. So that's what's going to represent 2010. And also they did have a dead end terror zone. Put onto what will be represented in 2011. In 2011 you had the Asylum, Seven, The Curse, Saw Alive and Experiment 10. I'm going to be totally honest. In two fa representing 2011 I think we will have Experiment 10 coming back. 2012, the only new maze they had was the passing. Uh, I don't think we'll have a maze represent in uh, 2012. Now, on to 2013. Representing 2013, the mazes you had that year was Cabin in the Woods, My Bloody Valentine, Saw Alive, Blair Witch and The Asylum. Now, representing 2013, also, actually, no, also in 2013, you had the new next roaming actor and the uh, director icon character. I think representing 2013 we'll get the your next characters returning. Representing 2014 uh, the mazes you had that year were Cabin in the Woods, Studio 13, My Bloody Valentine, Saw Alive and The Blair Witch. Representing 2014 I think we will get Studio 14, uh, 13. So. so 2015 2015's lineup you had The Big Top, Cabin in the Woods, My Bloody Valentine, Saw Alive, and The Blair Witch Project. With the Night Terrors roaming actors. I think we will get the Night Towers uh, Night Terrors returning to represent 2015. I know. In 2016, the lineup was Platform 15, The Big Top, Cabin in the Woods, Saw Alive, Blair Witch. Personally, representing 2016, we will have Platform 15. 15. And then, 2017, representing 2017, you had Platform, Big Top, Saw Alive, Living Nightmare, uh, Sanctum, and Zombie Roaming Horde. Personally, for 2017, I do believe we are going to get, I think, Negan back from The Walking Dead. So I think uh, Living Nightmare will be representing 2017. Um, on to Fright Nights. 2018, you had Platform 15, Dead Creek Woods, Blair Witch, Vulcan Peak, Saw Alive, Living Nightmare, Walking Dead Do or Die, Containment, Screenplex Cinema, Big Top Showtime, and Terror at Amity High. I think for 2018, you will, we will be seeing uh, the Big Top clowns representing that year. And then on to 2019's event, uh, you had Platform 15, Creek Freak Massacre, Walking Dead, Living Nightmare, Walking Dead, Dead Do or Die, Blair Witch, Containment, Screenplex Cinema, Terror, Terror at Amity High. I think representing 2019, you will have the Creek Freaks. Um, and then obviously this year, uh, representing 2020, I think we will have uh, the... I think we'll get the werewolves, which I do believe are going to be going into uh, the Howling on Lincoln for Pie. So yeah, that's what I think will be happening at uh, Fright Nights 2022 uh, for its 20th anniversary. You can go back and list uh, what the lineup is. I'll probably put it in the description or in a, in a pinned comment. Anyway, like, comment, and subscribe, guys. I've been Nasha. This has been another video on Nasha Vlogs. I do apologise for the lighting. Uh, the scare season is about to begin. I'm going to hopefully do a video tomorrow announcing what events I'm going to be going to this year. There's only a limited amount of, event, of events we are able to go to, but you'll see what we're going to uh, in a video tomorrow. Anyway, like, comment and subscribe. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.